In this day and age, we're no strangers to the power of social media and the way it can affect the lives of others. The false allegations made by YouTube channel host Tasha K against Cardi B that have damaged the New York City rapper's reputation and mental health significantly are a prime example of this. Let's get into the details of the lawsuit Cardi has filed against Kibi without wasting more time. So what was the preface of the lawsuit? In 2019, the blogger known as Tasha K was sued by Cardi B for posting several videos that were spreading malicious rumors. Two counts of slander, one count of libel, and one invasion of privacy against Tasha K was found by a federal jury. Cardi B's lawyer also cited a video from Kibi's YouTube channel, which has a million subscribers, in which Kibi claims that the rapper's firstborn child would have intellectual disabilities. Star Marie Ebony Jones was also included as a guest on the Tasha K channel because she claimed to be an old friend of the rapper, and thus she was also served with a lawsuit, which was filed in Kibi's home state of Georgia. After moving to New York, she was exempt from this lawsuit. However, last year, she was also found liable to Cardi B on counts of libel, slander, and invasion of privacy. Next, claims by the defendant, Cardi B. Cardi's testimony states that the videos posted by Kibi made her extremely suicidal, and she feels like only an evil person would do such a thing. Moreover, in the lawsuit itself, the party states that the videos would damage her reputation and her business prospects. Not only that, but also the fact that it seems as though Kibi was obsessed with slandering the rapper just to use her name in order to get views on her videos. They backed up this claim by showing the courts that they filed a cease and desist in 2018 when Kibi first started posting these videos, and she chose to continue on with the posts. In 2019, the rapper sued Kibi for these several videos uploaded to her YouTube channel that made harmful claims about the rap artist. These claims include the YouTuber claiming Cardi has herpes, was a prostitute, took hard drugs, cheated on her husband, engaged in lewd acts with beer bottles, and even stooped as low as to say that the rapper's firstborn would have intellectual disabilities. These are a few among other assertions. The Bodak Yellow rapper's lawyers asserted on several occasions that Kibi was absolutely obsessed with slandering Cardi because of the continuous slanderous content she posted throughout this whole time, probably because these videos got a considerable amount of views, which were far more than her usual statistics. They'd added that she does not have herpes, has not used cocaine, and is not a prostitute. What was the rapper granted by the courts? In Georgia, the federal jury increased the rapper's damages in a libel lawsuit against a celebrity gossip blogger who claimed that the rapper was a prostitute who used cocaine and had contracted sexually transmitted infections from $1.25 million on the 24th of January to an additional $2.8 million the next day. However, the damages now stand at a whopping $4 million total. The damages include approximately $1.3 million to cover legal fees alone. Apart from that, a million solely for Cardi's pain, suffering, and reputational damage. Moreover, $250,000 for medical expenses. Jurors then ordered Kibi to pay an additional million in punitive damages, and her company, Kibi Studios LLC, to pay $500,000 on top of that as well the next day. Cardi B is also to be reimbursed by Kibi for the entire lawsuit, which totals out to $1.4 million approximately. So, as confirmed by Lisa F. Moore, Cardi's lawyer, the total verdict now stands at $4.1 million as of now. What was the plaintiff's response? Kibi, in response to the verdict, tweeted that her husband, attorney, and herself fought hard against the lawsuit. She thanked them for their long hours and sleepless nights. The lawyer representing Kibi, Sadir Sabak, issued a terse statement on her behalf, saying that they will be filing an appeal as they do not agree with the final verdict. Next, Cardi isn't ashamed of her humble beginnings and gives back to her community regularly. The way Kibi has portrayed the rapper's background affecting her lifestyle as of today couldn't be far from the truth. She's been an active member of the community in the Bronx and is proud of where she comes from. Kibi's claims that she's always wanted to forget about her past and never look back is simply not true. An example of her being such a strong and supportive figure for the community is when there is any sort of tragedy that takes place, such as the high-rise building fire in early January. For the 17 people that were killed in a fire in a Bronx high-rise building in the fire, Cardi B offered to pay the burial costs. The rapper stated that she's extremely proud of being from the Bronx 
Bronx and has a lot of family as well as friends who reside and work there till date. So naturally, when she heard about the fire, she felt the need to do something to help the victims. Moreover, Cardi said she couldn't begin to imagine the sheer amount of anguish and pain the families of the victims are experiencing. She hopes that them not having to worry about the cost associated with burying their loved ones will at least help them in order to move forward and heal from the tragedy. She concluded her statement by saying that her prayers and condolences are with all those that had been affected by this horrific tragedy. Now, let's talk about Cardi's statement following the lawsuit. Cardi issued a statement to Variety in which she said that after almost four years of repeated libel and slander against her, the thought of her being able to walk away from this victory brought her a great amount of happiness. She voiced her appreciation for Judge Ray for conducting a fair and impartial trial. The rapper went on to state that she's grateful for the jury and their careful deliberation over the past two weeks. Moreover, she's profoundly grateful for the hard work and support from her legal team. She went on to say that most importantly, she wants to say thank you to her family and close friends who held her hand and helped her get the support that she needed during this experience. She continued by saying that during this trial, the masses have seen the darkest time of her life, which was fueled by vile, disgusting, and outright false narratives, which were repeated and relentlessly shared online. The rapper felt as though she would never be heard, let alone vindicated, and so she felt completely helpless and vulnerable. She has never taken the platform her fame has given her for granted, which is why over the course of three years, she dedicated all the resources she had to seek justice, not just for herself, but for anyone in similar situations. There's no hiding that intentional harm was done to her and is something countless others face daily. The rapper feels the only difference between a high schooler being cyberbullied and lied to by their classmates and herself is the fact that she has the money and resources to seek out justice. Moreover, she said that as a collective, everyone has to stand firm on the stance that enough is enough, because continuing as a society that turns a blind eye to blatant lies is something that simply isn't in the cards anymore. YouTube has to address and remove unchecked behavior and provably false content on the platform. Journalists and bloggers that report blatant lies as factual and enforce a constant stream of harassment needs to end. What did Cardi reference in regards to the beginning of her career at the end of the statement? She said that her career began on social media, so she is truly aware of the power it holds. She feels that over the past few years, it has been seen how social media platforms were able to bring important as well as necessary conversations to the forefront of media, such as Stop Asian Hate, Black Lives Matter, and women's rights movements as well. There have been stories of countless people, children, and adults alike taking their own lives due to intentional attacks and cyberbullying. She's grateful that the trial has come to an end because the jury has rendered a very powerful and substantial message through their verdict. She hopes that her experience will force people, especially those who condone such behavior, to be part of their respective communities to reevaluate what cripples a society and what moves it forward. So what does this mean for gossip bloggers? So if a smaller page is posting celebrity gossip, it can be taken down by the platform that hosts it if they violate terms and conditions. But the fact of the matter is that defamation laws differ across the globe. But if more celebrities take these issues with platforms like Cardi did with Tasha K, then it can potentially cause certain blogs to reassess their brazenness, as well as their ethics, hopefully. For example, before the King family had issued a statement of the actress Regina King's son's death, B. Scott, a gossip blog shared this as an exclusive and went ahead in giving the world the tragic story. We hope that following this entire ordeal, there are substantial shifts seen among the gossip blog community. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.